I will find who killed you. Thompson, you nearly gave me a heart attack. What are you doing then? Have you heard a knock in first, detective? Mm, well. Oh, Jesus. Look, what is it you want from me anyway? I told you the last time that we spoke that I would help you out, as it was a difficult situation that you couldn't handle. I believe your actual words were, I'll help you out with this one because it's a load of shit that you idiots can never understand. Then after that... Yes, thank you, West, my very own personal biographer. Is that what you keep in that little pocketbook of yours, huh? The words of everyone you've ever met, so that one day that you can correct them every time they go against their word? Actually, Templeton, this is my, um, book of lists. Specifically my, um, shopping list. Oh. Now this... This is my book of debts, like you just described. Look, where she's made a bloody bad mistake coming in and telling stupid jokes and wasting my time. You're gonna make a habit of it, just bloody go. Come on, Templeton, hear me out. His name is Jackson Jeffrey. More commonly known as the Diamond, one quarter of the criminal gang, the Aces. You must have heard of them. All of which are named after a playing card, I guess. Yeah, well, we've been tracking them for some time now, but two of their members have been found dead across town. The other two, well, nowhere to be found. Okay, so what do you want me to do? People go missing all the time, you know. And then in this case, you have criminals missing. Well, I'm not condoning wrongdoing. I think you should, should just rejoice. Four master criminals are out of the way, two of which are dead. Just forget about it. Just go down the pub west. It's not as simple as that, Templeton. The diamond was spotted around Schindler Corporation's scientific facility late last week, alone. Then, later, we had a phone call from Schindler Corp reporting a piece of equipment was taken. No CCTV shows the equipment being taken. One moment it's there, the next minute it isn't. How do you explain that? Could have been tampered with something. What was the device? What did it do? The device was part of the corporation's experiments for interdimensional travel. Sounds like a load of shit that an idiot like me could never understand. I need information on all the gang members, recent robberies of them, and this diamond, and any additional information from Chimler Corp records. Well, I can get that for you, Templeton, but it's going to take time. Well, you know what they say, if you want something done... Do it yourself. 
I've got all I need. Leave it with me, I'll sort it out. Oh, by the way, something you won't have picked up just then. Found on the dead bodies of the members of the Aces that we found a couple of weeks ago. Give me a call once it's sorted. Deal with him later. Shingler Corp Tech. Now, time to pay the heart a visit. Hello, Mr. Templeton. How can I help you today? Uh, I am... Um... Looking for anything in particular? How do you know my name? I think for a man such as yourself, something old with a bit of edge to it. The Lady Vanishes is particularly good. You strike me as a crime fiction sort of man. The Lady Vanishes by Ethelina White? That's the one. I could show you more if you'd like. Let's move away from books for one moment. I want to know more about you, Miss... Collins. Jennifer Collins. Now, that's not your real name, is it? Your name is Jane Munro, a.k.a. The Heart. You still haven't answered my question, have you? How do you know who I am, Jade? You can't just ask around for information and gain anonymity. I know you've been asking around for me. Where were you on the nights of... 5th of July and July the 11th, between the hours of 5 and 6 in the morning, both of those days. At home, alone. My landlady can verify my whereabouts. She's always up in the early hours of the morning. I swear she must be a vampire or something. Maybe you'd enjoy a May Grey or an Agatha Christie. You might learn something from them. I know that your gang killed my partner. I also know that you are involved in the recent deaths of your associates, the club and the spade. I know that you weren't there the night my partner was killed, but you must do something for the gang. After all, you're still alive two weeks after the 
the club and Spade have been killed. I guess you could call me tech support. The brains behind each plan. You can't prove any of it. You have no proof. Miss Munro, I'm not interested in thieves. All I care about is special cases. Your heists aren't special. However, if you do hear from your good friend, the Diamond, just give me a call. Oh, and I'll take this as well. You think so? You're not the only one with fancy tricks. Bollocks! For fuck's sake! Templeton. It's West. I don't know whether you've heard, but Jade Monroe, the heart, she's been found dead. Yes, I know. I was there, West. Yeah, but Templeton, just, just listen. She's vanished. By the time I got there, the young lady had vanished. Vanished? Yes, vanished. But Templeton, you're breaking up. West, I'm going to call you back. So, this is where you live there. Bit small, I must admit, but I guess it's a home. You made a bloody big mistake coming here on my own turf. You stole him the court tech. I did, and now I need your little device to complete it. I knew since the night I killed that partner of yours you'd be useful. I read up on you. And I read up on you. You killed Sarah. Now I will do what I can never do with the aces. They got in my way. I was the brains behind the schemes. They were all replaceable. Replaceable? Yes. But you really didn't think you could get rid of me that easily, Jackson. But you're not- It's called a bulletproof vest. Surely you didn't forget that I still had it. Oh dear, oh dear. It looks like you weren't the brains behind the operation after all. Who cares? I've still got this. I can pull off heist wherever I want. Ah! Goodbye.
vorbei, Mr. Tambutin. Dear Mr. Templeton, I hope you enjoy this novel. It's a personal favourite of mine. See you around. All my love, Jade Monroe.